Hi, it's The Wire. It is June the 4th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk of an NBA betting strategy I like. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there is a prop right now that, to me, is a great opportunity. If you go through a bunch of uh, online sports books, and let's be adult, it's up to you to check the legality of the sports book in your jurisdiction, right? You need to determine if the sports books you're looking at are legal where you live. Well, looking through the sports books, there's a bet out there that's spectacular. They say, hey, if the Western Conference, any team from the Western Conference, Utah, the Clippers, Phoenix, Denver, if any team from the West wins the title, we'll pay you better than even money. A plus 109. Right? For the East, it's a minus 140. Right? Well, here's what I think people need to know. According to the ratings put forth by probasketballreference.com, right, you'll notice that in terms of actual performance, not potential, not us fantasizing about where a team would have been had Kevin Durant, James Harden, and Kyrie Irvin all been healthy and all played the entire season. We're not going off potential. We're going off actual performance. According to the team ratings on basketballreference.com, and I'll leave the link in the comment section of this YouTube video, the three highest performing teams this year in terms of offensive rating and defensive rating right, their net ratings are all Western Conference teams. The Utah Jazz, the Los Angeles Clippers, and the Phoenix Suns, right? For those keeping track, the highest rated Eastern Conference team are the Milwaukee Bucks, followed by the 76ers. The number six team just pulled an upset. Well, not an upset, but they held serve over the Portland Trailblazers. And they are the Denver Nuggets. Number seven were the Brooklyn Nets. So with this prop being offered on the Western Conference, winning the NBA title, a futures better is guaranteed to have all of the teams from out West at better than even money odds. So I get Utah, a team that, quite frankly, will have home court advantage in the NBA Finals if they make the NBA Finals. Think about that. Right? I get Utah. I get the Clippers if they can turn things around against Dallas. I get Dallas. I get the Phoenix Suns. I get every team out West at better than even money. Now, why does that matter? It matters because this is a great hedge. Understand, in the Eastern Conference, because of injury, because Joel Embiid, who's one of the three finalists to win the NBA's MVP award, in other words, the league considers this guy to be one of the most valuable players in the league. The numbers back it up. Believe it or not, the 76ers this year played more than 20 games without Joel Embiid. And would it shock you to learn that the 76ers, the one seed in the East, the one seed, had a losing record without him? I think a torn meniscus is as bad as it gets. 
I believe teams every year look long and hard in the NBA draft and in the trade market to get franchise centers. I think a center with the three-point shooting capability, the offensive board capability of a Joel Embiid, the playmaking capability of a Joel Embiid is rare. This is a rare talent. I don't believe a team like the 76ers is going to risk that level of talent by playing him on a bad knee with a torn meniscus in the playoffs. You're certainly not going to see him out there playing 40 minutes a night. It's not going to happen. So, in my opinion, and here's where the video gets risky. In my opinion, the only two teams that have a chance to win the Eastern Conference are the two teams playing each other in the Brooklyn Nat Milwaukee Bucks series. Understand statistically, statistically, that series is closer than the odds makers are letting on. You're getting a plus 651 right now on the Bucks to win the whole thing. You're getting a plus 189 on the Brooklyn Nets to win the whole thing. Here's what I think I know. I can lock up the entire Western Conference for, for a plus 109. Right, have every team in the Western Conference for a plus 109. And then if I can pick the winner of the Bucks net series, in my opinion, I've locked up the whole thing at better than even money on both sides of the play. Right, so let me just say this. And I don't say it lightly. The Bucks, since I'm giving them a 50% chance of winning the Eastern Conference, right, since their defense is better than the Brooklyn Net defense, which is deficient, I believe you need to sprinkle some on the Bucks at plus 651 to win the whole thing, right? Of course, you want to take the plus 109 on the Western Conference to win the NBA championship. So what that means is if the Bucks go up against some team out of the West in the NBA Finals, you're good. You win if either side wins. You make a profit, right? You can even tailor the odds, shift some more over to the winner of the Western Conference. Since you stand to get a plus 651 if the Bucks win, right? You can shift the expected winnings. Likewise, if you believe the Brooklyn Nets, who have amazing offensive firepower, think about it. KD has multiple scoring titles. Harden has multiple scoring titles. Kyrie is one of the best scorers at his position in the NBA. And, of course, the Nets have some stealth guys. Joe Harris, one of the best three-point shooters in the entire league. Not to mention guys like Blake Griffin, who can get you some points when you need them. Right? If you believe the Nets are the team to beat in the East, because to me, it's down to two teams. It's down to two teams. The Bucks and the Nets. In terms of coming out of the East, I'm writing off the 76ers and the Atlanta Hawks. Sorry, Atlanta, just not enough talent. Right, so pay close attention to that Bucks net series. If either team goes up by two games, then that's the team to put money on, on an NBA futures. Let me say this too. The world right now is buying into the hype. Philly is trying to sell you on the idea 
that a torn meniscus to their franchise player is not a big deal. That he might come back and play. That the team might be able to succeed without him. Folks, don't buy into that hype. Just use your own two eyes and see what the team did when he was not on the court this year. I don't have to hear some general manager or, you know, some PR person for the team telling me, oh, we'll be fine. Right, folks, you can research the numbers yourself. Right, just food for thought. Keep in mind, too, in terms of actual performance, an argument can be made that the box, a lower C, already have had a better performance this season than the Philadelphia 76ers. Right, again, I encourage you to look at basketball references rankings that break down things like margin of victory. Right, they even adjust them for the records of the teams at the time of the games. Right, against their respective opponents. So, to sum up this video, whoever you think is going to win the Western Conference, I believe getting greater than even money on a which conference wins the NBA prop for me, is essential. I like the plus 109 on who comes out of the West. Keep in mind, this won't prevent me from saying, hey, I think Utah is going to be the team. Let me go put some on Utah. I see I'm getting a plus 350 or whatever, right? That's not going to prevent me from speculating on individual teams. But here, I'm guaranteed representation in the NBA Finals by the Western Conference representative at better than even money odds, right? And let me just say, according to basketball reference, the three best teams in the NBA this year in terms of performance in the regular season were the Utah Jazz, who stand to have home court advantage if they make it to the NBA Finals. So you'd be getting them at better than even money odds. The Los Angeles Clippers, I know the Clippers are a dumpster fire, right? No home team seems to want to win a game in their series against the Dallas Mavericks. Right? Point conceded. But let me just say, the Clippers are one of the better defensive teams in the league. Right? Especially left in the playoffs now that we know Big-time defender Joel Embiid is not going to be himself if he plays in that Philly series. And, of course, the Lakers are no longer among the surviving playoff teams. And, of course, the Phoenix Suns. Understand, Phoenix, the two-seed in the West, had just one less win than the Utah Jazz. Right? You saw how Phoenix cleaned out the Lakers. It was so bad that in the game before the last game, LeBron leads with more than five minutes left. Right, gets up and leaves the bench area. LA got spanked the last two games. So, I like the plus 109. Western Conference representative in the NBA Finals, wins the Finals. I'm looking hard at the Buck Net series, right? I like the idea of sprinkling some on the Bucks right now because you're getting a plus 651. If the Nets come out the gate and they look strong, I think you need to sprinkle some on the Nets. Understand, even if you get the Nets, let's say you wait and the Nets win that series and the odds for them winning the NBA championship drop, but there's still some hesitation because they have one series to play against the winner of Philadelphia versus the Hawks. Let's say Philly wins it, right? And B does have a capable backup in Dwight Howard. You do have some talent on that 
veteran talent on that Philly team. Doc Rivers is still the coach of the 76ers. Let's say Philly beats Atlanta, but Embiid is out, right? Or he's extremely limited, 15 to 20 minutes a game. You know that Philly team can't beat the Brooklyn Nets. The public might not, because the public's going to believe the hype of seeding. They're going to say, oh, Philly was the one seed in the East. You're going to have some people out there trying to encourage viewership and, you know, feed red meat to their fans. So Philly executives, PR people are going to tell you, oh, we're ready for the conference finals, right? You know they can't beat the Nets if the Nets beat the Bucks. So at that point, even if you're getting, let's say, a plus 120 on the Nets to win it all, understand, you're locking in a win. Either the plus 109, again, better than even money odds, or the plus 120, better than even money odds. Think it through. I like the plus 109 Western Conference person, a uh, team, to win it all, right? This is just for strategic purposes. We're just structuring the bet. Hedged with whoever comes out of the Nets Buck series. Right? If you want to get in early before the odds start dropping, I find the Bucks at a plus 651 to be extremely compelling value, given that I don't believe the 76ers can beat them in the next round should they beat the Nets. Right? I also find the Nets at plus 189 to be compelling value. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.